Yeah, InServ alone is a safety-driven company right in our slogan, and we really pride ourselves on our safety. It's a big part of what we do. It's from the top down. We all take it seriously and know that if we're not a safe company, we're, we won't be working. We pride ourselves on responding when that happens. If we get calls in the middle of the night or 10 o'clock at night, we'll be there that night or we'll be there first thing in the morning and really try to take care of our customer and their needs. Our 3D drawings do is really gives our customers uh, an upfront look at what our scaffolds will look like exactly up against their equipment or uh, their vessels. It helps us manage material. It tells us exactly how many pieces we're gonna use. It knows, uh, it helps us know exactly what our rental costs will be and how long it'll take to build it. So we have various backgrounds on our team from age and experience to different types of scaffolding and different kind of projects from the commercial world to the industrial world. And it really allows us to, to brainstorm and develop solutions uh, for customers when they're kind of up against the wall or trying to figure out what might work for them in certain situations. That's the equipment that attaches right inside one of our scaffold bays. We're able to load that with our scaffold material and take it up uh, 400 feet if we need to, uh, to where our guys are building. In the scaffold world, passing material is a real dangerous part of the job, and this eliminates that. Uh, it allows us to do a job safer and with less manpower, so at a better cost. InServe's unlike any other companies with that, where you can really ask somebody something or tell somebody something and then depend on them that it's gonna get done. If we have an incident or we have a problem or we need a solution to a safety issue, our people will be on site. Uh, they'll come and help us uh, solve the problem and, and get through it. I think a lot of people say this, but InServe really does feel like a family. Uh, you feel like you get support from the very top to the bottom. People are involved. Um, the president and CEO, as you say, know uh, the projects that are going on in every business, uh, including scaffolding, and they want to support. They want to know how they can help. They want to come on, on site and see if they can do anything and make sure our guys are happy. Um, a lot of people, I feel like, say that. Cross-training has been valuable to us as well. Um, it allows us and our customers to save money with our people that can do more than one task. A lot of our scaffold builders are insulators. A lot of our insulators are uh, help with our painting group. Um, it allows us to eliminate standby time. It's really proven positive for ourselves at InServe, but also for the customer. Um, we do a lot of commercial work, everything from ski resorts and big lodges to high-rise uh, apartments and downtown cities, um, to support turnarounds and maintenance groups in oil refineries and chemical plants, and pretty much everything in between. But InServe truly cares, and it does feel like a family here. Pretty much we're available all the time. We do a lot of commercial work, uh, refinery work. Uh, availability is pretty much our success. That's what we're seeing right now. They run into issues all the time with needing scaffold and they call us at random times of the day. Um, we're available. We can get guys there pretty much same day most of the time depending on what the job is. Safety is a, it's a value. Uh, priorities change so we uh, want safety to be value. Uh, make sure you know our guys are going home the same way they came to work that morning. Uh, scaffolding is very dangerous. Um, we're always wearing harnesses tied off 100% of the time. Um, we always have tailgate meetings in the morning. We're pretty much handpicking our guys um, as we grow. Uh, we're bringing guys over from different companies and just handpicking them. So we got a lot of experience. Uh, believe we have the greatest guys out there as we're handpicking them. I've been doing scaffolding for 18 years, um, so I got a lot of knowledge and still got a long ways to go on learning and learn every day. Our support is great when we need somebody something. We just make a phone call. Doesn't matter if it's after hours. And everyone is real helpful. Um, anytime you need something, they're there. So makes it real nice. From we, everyone is treated the same, uh, from the top guy down to the newest helper. Um, we all have the same mentality, the same goals. Um, we're all willing to learn and teach. Um, and every day we learn something new. Uh, project managers will turn in tool lists of what's required to be on the job. We convert that to a pick list. 
our guys walk around the warehouse. Uh, we load up tool trailers. Uh, we have the capabilities to load anything from a 30-foot bumper pull to 53-foot reefer trailers. And we can generally do that overnight. Uh, it's just generally an email. Uh, we're 24-7 response, uh, 365. We don't, we don't take no time off. So when the job's needed, once they're awarded, then we mobilize to get, get the tools sent out as quick as possible. We got over 50 trailers. Uh, like I said, anything from a 30-foot gooseneck or bumper pull trailer to 36-foot gooseneck trailers to 53-foot semi-trailers. Tool trailers and safety trailers. So we have a tool list that's that's just under 3,000 line items, consisting of anything from consumables to small tools to equipment and assets, ranging from screwdrivers to plasma cutters to bundle pulling equipment. Once everything comes home from a job, every tool uh, goes to a repair area and is it's maintenance, it's inspected, it's repaired, it's tested per OEM standards. Uh, that's prior to going back to the shelf.